As we continue our week-long series, Reality Check, we catch up with two winners of America's Next Top Model. Since its premiere in 2003, Top Model has become a must-watch for fashionistas and model fans around the country. In the 10 cycles of the show, hosted by Tyra Banks, 143 young women have vied to be named America's Next Top Model, a title that comes with a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl, representation by a top modeling agency, and a magazine cover and photo spread. One of the most successful winners, who's managed to parlay her title into a lucrative modeling career, is Yasleen Gonzalez, a 22-year-old native of Chicago who won Cycle 8. When Tyra announced me as the winner, it was a dream come true, definitely, because even ever since that day, I've been living a dream. With close to a dozen magazine covers under her belt and as the face of Lot 29 Urban Wear, Yasleen is everywhere, from the newsstand to Times Square. It's a rush. It's a thrill. Yasleen is also using her newfound fame to help her fans. Shortly after her top model win, she revealed to Seventeen magazine that she had been in an abusive relationship that she managed to escape. Liz Claiborne, Love is Not Abuse, came to me asking me if I wanted to be a spokesperson for domestic violence. I try to speak about my story, try to be tangible to women who are in this situation and let them know that if I can get out of it, then that means you can as well. But it's her work in fashion that is keeping her busiest these days. I'm an energizer bunny though, like I haven't stopped and I don't feel tired, I don't feel like oh my god it's too much for me, you know, like I'm just always looking for more. The sky's the limit, you know what I mean? And I know I have a lot of passion in what I do, so I know I'm going to accomplish things. For Whitney Thompson, the most recent winner of America's Next Top Model, the whirlwind life is just beginning. Whitney! As the first full-figured model to win the competition, Whitney, who's a size 10, hopes to be a role model to girls of all sizes. I get a lot of emails that say, I've sought help for an eating disorder because of you, or, you know, you've really helped me improve my confidence issues. If one girl stops throwing up her dinner because she saw me, then it's worth it. That's all that I need. And with her work in mainstream modeling, like at this shoot for a J.C. Penney catalog, Whitney hopes she'll be able to change the industry as well. I'm signed with Elite. They don't even represent plus-size models. I'm the only one that they represent. You know, that's, that's a big step. Whitney is also realistic about her future. She left college in Florida to compete on Top Model, but plans to go back in the future. Modeling is a very short-lived career. You know, when I get wrinkles, I'm pretty much done. But right now, I'm just living in the moment. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm becoming more and more successful, and I have a really good purpose behind what I'm doing. I'm trying to get little girls to look at their bodies and say, it's OK to not be a double zero with double Ds. I am ecstatic about my win. And it was definitely hard to keep my confidence, but I did. And I think so long as you can do that, no matter who you are, then you're going to make it. And the new season of America's Top Model starts on September 3rd.